Aaron, how do you balance a short turnaround like this in terms of getting your body recovered, getting enough film work, and, and yet still trying to get some kind of reps on the field? Um, I, I know it's a it's a big challenge, but it, and I wouldn't say it's particularly easy. But I think our coaching staff and our medical and strength staff have done a great job of kind of reiterating the fact that we need to do whatever we need to do to get more rest, uh, more recovery. If that means sitting in the ice tub, finding time to go do more rehab, um, making more time to go watch film, uh, we do that, and they make sure that we have the time to do that. And there's a big emphasis on making the most of the reps that we have and not really worrying about the lack of time that we have to prepare. Aaron, uh, the, the pass protection and the running game is looking better than it has throughout the whole season. How would you compare and contrast from your perspective what it takes to protect the, protect the passer and uh, create space for uh, your running backs? Um, I'd say it's a, it's pretty, it's pretty hard thing to do, um, even as a big guy, as an offensive lineman, but I uh, kind of contribute uh, playing better in that regard to our preparation. Every week, Coach Jones, uh, he'll drop 60 to 100 plays that we'll walk through every day um, after the fact that we practice. We'll run through that after practice, whenever we have time during practice. We'll run through it right before we travel, uh, right before the game. We'll be walking through plays. So I think that's a really big deal, and especially Davis, uh, kind of recognizing what type of runs to get us into, uh, what type of pass protection to call. Aaron, can you talk about what you see in USC's defense and and what your level of confidence is that you can run the ball against? And it's not something that Cal has done consistently well against the Trojans over the years. Um, I think they're a really athletic defense, uh, really talented guys up front. Uh, I know that they're well coached, uh, really disciplined. I mean, you can see from the film that those guys have a, a really big motor. I think. The biggest thing for us is to kind of take pride in who we are as offensive line. Um, I think the past two games, we've been running the ball pretty well. Uh, I think it's important for us to keep doing what we're doing up front, um, be fast, fast if not faster than we have been before. But, um, you know, it, it all goes back to that preparation that we have. And I think it'll be uh, really important for us to be poised and focused on what we've been running all week, what we've been practicing, what we've seen on film. Uh, that'll be the biggest contribution to having success up front like that. Aaron, uh, they're they're pretty thin up front, and Clancy Pendergast doesn't like to rotate a whole heck of a lot. You guys are averaging 89 plays per game. I think last game kind of skewed that average. But uh, how important is it for you guys to be able to go fast and put these guys on their heels? It's, uh, I think it's really important. I think it's a big part of uh, our run game and, and our offense in general is to be able to play faster than opponents expect us to. And to be able to play fast to catch people off guard, I think is is really huge. Besides uh, being able to, you know, get on our man, do our assignments right, and overpower people in general.